When that energy, that radiation comes to us from the sun, what it has to do is it has to pass through a certain number of miles of air between the outermost part of the planet and the crustal matter of the planet. It comes through um, a series of layers in the atmosphere, one of which we call the stratosphere. And the stratosphere is where we find a very um, narrow layer of, of ozone. And that ozone absorbs some of that radiation that's coming down. And as it absorbs it, it's, uh, it's absorbing the very short wavelength energy, the, the high, um, high frequency, the, the energy that's capable of breaking down the cells in your body. In this box, there are some frisbees that have a coating that are sensitive to UV radiation. And try this in the middle of um, a nice, bright, clear day, and they turn this amazing shade of purple. And then on a cloudy day, they, they turn pink. Now, it's snowing out here. The temperature is about 30 degrees. I'm absolutely excited to see if they're going to turn at all, because that will prove whether we're getting ultraviolet radiation coming to us on a snowy day. So here we go. Out come the frisbees. They were white and bingo. So we can actually get ultraviolet radiation coming to us even through all of these clouds in the middle of snow, in the middle of New England, in the middle of winter. So Do you know why that frisbee just changed color? Well, it's because of all those ultraviolet rays that are coming to us from the sun. And that's the reason why, you know, your mom always says, make sure you put sunscreen on. We have what we call constant gases, which are things like oxygen, nitrogen, argon, and so on. And then we have what we call variable gases, and those are, th are things like uh, carbon dioxide, water vapor, methane, um, in other words, the greenhouse gases. Humans have affected climate in a number of different ways, including um, enhancing the naturally occurring greenhouse effect and when you add additional greenhouse gases increasing the potential for the atmosphere to absorb radiation that's coming from the earth and emit it again or give it back out. When you hear the term global warming what you're actually talking about is this enhancement of the naturally occurring greenhouse effect. <laughs>